so I guess I'll just hop right in to what I got. Sorry if the bag is really crinkly also. Okay. So, first thing I got is actually a repurchased item, and it's my Neutrogena Rapid Clear Treatment Pads. And they're just these little pads that you put on your pimples before you go to sleep, and oh my god, works like a miracle. I would totally recommend it, and it's like $7, so yeah. Next I got the Neutrogena Extra Gentle Eye Makeup Remover Pads, and I'm really excited to try these because my mascara is so difficult to take off. Don't know why, but I have the regular Neutrogena Makeup Remover wipes, but I don't know why they don't really work in it. So, I I'll just try these. I tried the simple makeup remover wipes, and I didn't really like them because they didn't get off my mascara that well. But face makeup, they got off well. And then I got another EOS lip balm, um, and this is Strawberry Sorbet. I have like four or five others. So there's another one to add to my collection. Um, I got the Maybelline Fit Me blush in medium mauve. Yep, needed a new blush. Wanted to try it out. I don't think I'm gonna use the little um, what's it called, sweeper thing. Um, I've heard great things about this from a friend, and it's the Elf's eyelid primer. So yeah, I've never tried Urban Decay Primer Potion or anything like that because I just don't want to spend the money on that. And so yeah, and I don't know if there's more than one shade, but it says it's sheer, so if you wanted to know what it was. Um, and then for my brows, I got the Clear Mascara from Maybelline New York, and I'm excited to try that because I always do my brows, but then it always wears off, and I think my brows just look like a big blob of brown, but yeah, I should probably tweeze them, but I'm lazy. Oh well. And then I got the Elf's Nourishing Cuticle Pen. Um, I used to have this really bad habit where I would like pick on the like, skin around my nails. So yeah, I really want to try this to see if it's going to help them repair it or not. So yeah. Um, by the way, most of these are new products that I've never tried before. Um, next is... What brand? L'Oreal Infallible, the Super Slim 12 Hour Li not Liquid, Liquid, it is liquid, eyeliner, and it's a felt tip one because I'm terrible at doing my upper liner with liquid liner, I refuse to use any other ones, but the felt tip works best for me, and I just got this in black. And then my powder broke, and I was using the Revlon photo ready, whichever one that was, and then so I decided to try Maybelline's Dream Matte Powder because I've heard really good things about this, and I'm very excited to try it, and I have two things left. I got the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser, or cleaner, and it just says that you spray it over your brush and then wipe it on to a cloth to remove the makeup. So I'll try it out. I don't know how well it's gonna work. I usually wash my brushes like every week using baby shampoo, but I guess I'll try this. So yeah, and I have one last product that I got and it's the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer and I got this in the shade Ivory. I mean, <laughs> look, I didn't think it's a bit light, but I have, I just want these to hopefully, I want just, the bleh, I want this to hopefully cover up my dark circles because I have been losing a lot of sleep because finals are coming up. So that is the end of my mini Walmart makeup haul. If you want a review on any of these items, you can't see them but I'm pointing to them. Yeah. Um, just let me know, like message me or anything, and make sure you subscribe and like this video and what else do you do? Follow me on my social media. Yeah. And because summer's coming up, a lot of more, a lot of more, a lot of more, a lot of more. A lot more videos will be coming your way. Woo -hoo. And I really have to stop looking at the viewfinder because that's like all I do in life.